This is my 1997 Suzuki Deer 350, and I've owned it for a couple years now. Unfortunately, for the past year, it just kind of sat. So, in this episode, we're going to take a look at the process that I'll take to make this trail ready again. First, I'll try and start it up to get a baseline of where the bike is at. Well, it doesn't want to start. So first thing we're going to do is clean up the carburetor. First step to getting the carburetor out is taking off these side panels. With the side panel removed, we can reach the 12mm bolt holding the seat bracket. And now the seat pops off just like that. Next we have two bolts holding the gas tank to the frame. We also have a vacuum line and a fuel line attached to the carburetor. With the vacuum and fuel lines out of the way, we can now try and carefully remove the gas tank. Next thing to do is just to remove the throttle cables. With the cables out of the way, we can now work on loosening up the clamps that hold the carburetor to the intake system. The rubber intake boots on this bike are pretty old, so it makes removing the carburetor a hassle. <sighs> Alright, well we got the carburetor out and mostly drained the gas, so I'm just using my truck bed as a table. And we're going to take off this bowl, and then we're going to take off this, and then take out the slide, and then see how it looks like. Some of the screws needed a little bit more persuasion than others to come off. With the bowl off, we can now see the inside of the carburetor, and it actually doesn't look too bad. And now the float just pops right out with the float valve attached. And that's why I'm doing this over a cardboard box. It makes it really easy to keep track of parts. We can see here that the rubber on the slide is in good condition, and I'm trying my best to not damage it while removing it from the carburetor. So here's our naked carburetor. Overall, it's in good condition and pretty clean already. We're still going to hit it with some carb clean and compressed air to make sure everything on the inside is squeaky clean. Alright, now we got the carburetor cleaned up. Uh, took a little bit of uh, time with the air compressor to clean this up. Uh, off camera. So now it's time to put it back together. And now to put it back together, we just do the opposite of taking it apart. Alright, well, now time to put it back in and see what happens. Alright, we put the fuel system on prime, so now we're gonna try it out, see what happens.
And battery pretty weak. That sucks. All right, we got the bike all put together as far as we need to. And we got the battery charged up. So let's uh, give this a try. Choke on. Let's give us some beans. So, our DR350 starts up and idles nicely, but there's still one more thing to fix, and that is this throttle cable, which is sticky. To get to the throttle cable, we're going to be loosening up this brake mount, as well as the hand guard. With the cable installed most of the way, we can see that it moves nice and smoothly. However, there's one big problem, and that is that it's too short. Since the new cables are too short, I decided to reuse the old ones. I let these sit in an oil bath for a couple days and let them soak, and I think that's done the trick, so I'll just go ahead and put these on. So I put the old throttle cable back on, and I put the rest of the bike together. Now the only thing to do now is test it out. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button and leave a comment down below if you want to see more videos like this or anything else you saw interesting in the background.